Oh, we're going to get told off here yeah, yeah, yeah. by um, the security, probably. I think so, too. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to Supercars of London and video edited, done, time to get ready for the day. I've got an exciting day ahead. I'm heading over to SB Race Engineering first. I'm going to check out the cars that they've got in, try and get as much office done office stuff done as possible. I hope you enjoyed the video yesterday. It was a lot of fun a day out for me, but hopefully the vlog comes across as what an awesome day out it was t uh, yesterday, I was gonna say today. Today, I'm meeting up with Sam with Seen Through Glass. He's shooting a couple of videos and apparently wants me to help. So um, be prepared for some pretty awful content on his YouTube channel coming very soon. I'll tell you what, spending the day down with Gad Tuning and Dub Customs and watching Jonathan's Maserati get de-chromed and tinted. It was getting me so excited, I kind of just wanted to de-chrome my car, even though it's already been de-chromed, I felt like it needed to be de-chromed some more, because Jonathan's car just transformed in front of our eyes, and not a lot actually got done. It was just slight de-chromes around the windows, the handles, the tints, and it just made a huge difference. I think this is gonna be like a huge topic on these daily vlogs now, because it's all I ever think about, on camera, off camera, all I ever think about is my second car, how I'm gonna be able to afford it, what's the perfect option, how am I gonna go about finding it, how am I gonna go about selling this car? And I also thought, because I'm going on holiday in two and a half weeks, on the 4th of July, I head on holiday, I might try and get my car ready for sale, ready for that week that I go away. One thing you have to stay on top of when you're in that period of whether you want to buy a new car or whatever you want to do, is when is the best time to sell? When is the best time to jump into a new car? And it just seems that it's now. I'm going to lunch and I'm not driving. Barry's driving my car. That's a 15 plate Bentley there, that's nice. I think Barry's the only person that I'd let drive my car. And because Barry's car's broken at the moment, I thought I'd give him the treat of driving mine to death. <laughs> it's Vauxhall Signum, is poorly. He's actually driving my car. I think that you're in, a, in a, a car where you can stick stuff in the back. This is the first time the rear shelf has actually ever been used for something quite useful. Food shop. Don't drive too fast, because otherwise your lunch is going to go everywhere. So you're signaling automatic. You don't have to drive manuals. <laughs> Complete. And um, I think it's the first or second time this week I've been at SB for lunch. TV playing, no idea what's on. And basically Sam is coming here, apparently, in 15 minutes. Which is good timing to jump out in his car and um, film some videos for his YouTube channel. But of course, it's gonna benefit my daily vlogs because I'm getting out and doing something, doing something exciting with the Alfa Romeo 4C. Look who is here. I don't even know what he's doing. There's a parking space right there. I know it says disabled, but he can go in it. This is our conversation. I'm not, I'm behind the Lambo. Sam, I know, I can see you. <laughs> He's just noticed me as well. <laughs> right, the time has just gone two o'clock and Sam's arrived and we're going out to film. I've heard a little bit of a brief. There's the donut. Brief, he's briefed me on the video that he needs help filming. So unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to make a cameo in his videos in the not so near future. Are you definitely glad you're wearing him as a cameo? I was yeah, like, I was like, I was like, like Sam, are, are, you, are you doing anything? I've given you enough exposure. So, <laughs> which way do you want to go now? Uh, that way. We are en route to an undisclosed location to get filming. That unfortunately isn't coming with us. This is. So we've left F's eh. So we've left F's eh. So we've left F's eh. So we've left SB and um, we've had, well, I've had about a couple of hours in the office. I don't even think Sam's had any hours in the office. And this is what 
it's all about trying to live the dream, trying to live the YouTube dream of being able to film and just create really cool content on beautiful days like today. So Sam's obviously, he's asked me what I've been up to today, asked me whether I'm free this afternoon. He needs some help. He needs some creative help with the uh, videos that he's doing. So we're gonna come up with some cool ideas and hopefully um, create some really cool content for his YouTube channel and his Alfa Romeo 4C. And we're just cruising now. But this is, this is literally what I wanna do day in, day out, is just come up with some really cool ideas. I'd love to sit down every single day, come up with some really, really cool, fun video ideas and create some high-end production, really cool automotive content. That is the dream. So we're being able to supplement two or three hours in the office this morning, in, not including the editing as well, which takes quite a long time. I was up at nine, I think I left about half 11, so two hours. So I have done about five, five and a half hours worth of work, but now we're out and about, alpha behind, R8, we're just gonna go and film, have some fun, and have a really good afternoon in the weather, 23 degrees. So we're now here doing some filming with the Alfa Romeo 4C. I'm not gonna show you where we are. Basically, the idea is that we're gonna be uh, doing a cool review of Sam's 4C on his channel, but I'm gonna leave it at that and then hopefully get some more shots of us driving together, um, which is why I'm leaving it a mystery as what the background is. Back on the move, back on the cruise. The sun's out even more. And it's just a lovely day. Just a lovely day, that's all I can say. And if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog yet, then I'll leave the link in the description like I have been doing in recent times. But I am loving, and Sam wants one of these as well, the Montar car mount. <laughs> They're just so good, so good. And I've got a meeting tomorrow which could open a few doors to have some access to some cool cars, which will be amazing for the summer. And I may even try and test a couple of convertibles, even though I don't like them. Convertibles in the summer make more sense. So now we've parked up, Sam is getting his gear ready, point of view. And we've selected this road, no idea why. No idea whatsoever, but my car is not featuring in his video. What a shame. Got Sam's camera. There he goes. I don't even know what he's doing. Oh, it's there. <laughs> oh, what a fail. I thought he was going to be going up there because, not that you can see here, but we are in a car park. There you go. There is an arrow pointing that way that says it is a one way. Hence why I thought Sam would be accelerating that way. Instead, he went against the rules and went that way. However, the afternoon is going well. I'm literally just sitting here in the car. All I have been so far is a location expert. Sam wanted to get out of London and film more of, um, not rural, but just not central London locations. He needed a bit of quietness. He needed, um, well, he needed specific things that you'll see in the video. Um, and basically, I have photobombed him by accident as well, which you will see in his video. I have no, no idea when this video is going live. I'm literally just here vlogging because it's more interesting here than there would be um, if I was just... You can hear it, it sounds good. It's definitely more interesting than being in the office. Um, I am, however, sitting in here um, pretending as if, as if this is my office. I'm on my emails, I'm on social media and trying to get through my backlog of stuff that I need to reply to. So just remembering what I needed to do this weekend, the Sunday Top Gear substitution. There he is again, going the wrong way. I realized that I haven't filmed a Top Gear substitution. So without Sam knowing anything, oh, what's my number? <laughs> we need to film a Top Gear substitution video nah. for this Sunday. Mate, don't loop me into your, like, you haven't got enough content. You just never wrote me in. I haven't got enough content for a Sunday Top Gear I've substitution. Got too much content. Have some of mine. Sam's got too much. I've got too little. I'm concentrating so much on the daily vlogs, filming on a day-to-day -day basis, that I film one day behind. 
know what the Top Gear substitution should be? What? Head over to Dave, they have reruns of Agatha. <laughs> the Top Gear substitution is head over to Dave. You probably didn't hear that. Thank God. <laughs> right, I cannot believe what an epic fail we have had. I'm leaving my car there, and um, the only secret that I'm going to let you in on is this week's Top Gear substitution video, which is going live at Sunday. I think it's going to go live at 5 p.m. because that is my new Supercars London upload time. 5 p.m. seems to be the um, ideal upload time. Um, so it's not really a Top Gear. Oh, there's a fly. It's not really a Top Gear substitution anymore because normally I would upload at 8 o'clock in the evening. Sam's decided to park as far away from where I park as possible. Thank you very much, Sam. And um, yeah, so this week's Top Gear substitution is unfortunately going to be two idiots and um, a toy car. Racy, so they can't I think they, yeah, no, 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 they're not carbon fiber, but this is part of the launch edition package. You get these mm -hmm. sort of race or sports seats. So you've brushed up on what's in the launch edition. Oh, good God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get told off here yeah, yeah, yeah. by um, the security, probably. I think so too. Yeah. Right, so I've left my car up here and I'm in the Watford um, cinema area and I'm gonna see my nephew now, who is three and playing in his little indoor play area thing. So I'm gonna go and check him out, make sure he's all right. And then back in the car and finish the vlog. Right, back in the car, completely worn out now, thanks to my uh, nephew who's running my rings around me. And um, time to head home, it's five o'clock. So I'm gonna put you back into my um, case right here and then get on and move on. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog there. I'm glad that I was able to do something slightly different than just being in the office today. It was good to catch up with Sam. And um, you're gonna have to wait a while, I think, uh, based on what I was talking to him about on the videos that we have filmed today, until they come onto his channel. He's got a backlog of loads of content from in London, events and things like that. So stay tuned for it on his channel. And we also filmed a Top Gear substitution video as well, which you would have seen from my Instagram post as well. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another video, another daily vlog. We're excited. <laughs> very excited. It's looking good. Yeah. Guy said it'll be like a 400 mile an hour car. 400, the first Four, 400, 400 mile an hour, mile an hour, hour car.